<sighs> hey everybody. If you're new here, I'm Tara, farmer from Northern California. This channel is mainly about farming. Sometimes it's not. I've been farming with my dad for about five years now. And I planted my very own vineyard in April of 2018. It is foggy out this morning. It is the first day of spring, so that's exciting. It is March 19th, first day of spring. Um, just came out to check on the chickens, make sure everybody's out and good, um, which they are. My bantams, my mini chickens. I gotta let my rescues out and then uh, my rooster Bo is a little sick right now. Well, he's not sick. He's something's wrong with his leg. So I put him in the big coop at night and then he's got a bachelor pad over here that I'm going to put him in. So going to get some morning stuff done. I just took all my work clothes out of the dryer. <laughs> so I'm nice and toasty. <laughs> it's the little things, you know. Good morning, ladies. One more. She's like, mm, not quite ready. Filled everyone's food and water last night, so that's nice because I don't have to do it this morning. Oh, hi, big boy. Oh, 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 it's okay. It's okay. We're not totally sure what's wrong with him. His comb looks like that because he got pecked by the girls and I cleaned it and put medicine on it. But he's eating and drinking, so we're just gonna keep chugging along, see how things go. Just to give you all a small little update on what's going on around here due to the coronavirus, we currently are not on lockdown. Um, stay in place but the county right next to us just got a stay in place order which is about five to ten minutes away so it's not that far i have a feeling we're next it is super weird because my daily life has not changed at all other than the fact if i go grocery shopping i might not be able to find everything my husband's daily life has completely changed because he is in school and now all his schooling is from home and online, which is super odd because he's in school to be a physician assistant, which is medical. And I can only imagine how hard it is. So um, it is odd <laughs> that the whole world is going through this and my life has not changed really. But um, so far, everything is good. Everyone that's being affected, I'm saying prayers for you guys. And we're just gonna keep chugging along, okay? We're gonna get through this. All right, let's head to the farm. It's a little bit cooler today and we have this big burn pit that we had our Christmas trees in, which I already started it. Sorry, you guys missed the lighting. And um, we had our Christmas trees in it and we have a ton of cardboard. My mom actually took the cardboard to a recycle place or maybe she didn't take it, but she went to a recycle place and asked them, um, can we bring cardboard here to recycle? And he said, no. And my mom was like, do you know anywhere I could take cardboard to recycle? And he was like, no. And that was like it. So what happened was, well, we keep a lot of cardboard in the shop because like if there's anything greasy or stuff like that, my dad puts cardboard down. But then my mom works at the library and they had some program where they asked people to bring cardboard and I guess they got like a million times more than they needed. So now we have a ton of cardboard. We wanted to recycle it, but apparently no one will take it. So we're gonna burn it. I just wish I had marshmallows. Here's our homemade fire pit. But yeah, okay, so you could see where the Christmas trees were. All right, time to go get some cardboard. All right, there's my dad's pile of cardboard. It actually doesn't look like that. Well, it kind of looks like a lot, but anyways, it was all up on a shelf. So I pulled it all off the shelf and what, see, kind of uses it like this. So we had a pickup parked here that leaks. 
So we put cardboard under and we use it for a lot of reasons. So I'm gonna start cutting these nice little pieces like this and make a burn pile and organize this a little bit. Okay, there we go. I've got medium and small, got a couple big pieces, and here's the trash pile I'm gonna take out to the burn pile. A little bit more organized. All right, there we go. That's how we're getting rid of some of our cardboard. We kept the good stuff and we'll use it, but it's gotta go somehow. If you know some place that will take it for recycling, let me know. All right, out in the vineyard right now, the weather is actually staying pretty nice. When the sun gets behind a cloud, it feels a little bit cool, but it's not that bad. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I thought it was going to rain. So I thought I'd come out to the vineyard for a little bit and rip off some of these um, cartons, the grow tubes. There are these all these white boxes here are called grow tubes some of them are gone some of them are still standing some of them are half standing so what these were when we planted every vine got their own grow tube and they're they pretty much covered up the vine because they were only about this tall when i planted them and it makes like its own little greenhouse for the vine so it keeps them warm makes them happy and then we actually had to come through and open every one but now they're just slowly falling apart they're paper they'll pretty much get chopped up and disintegrate but unfortunately it is still a job to take them off and uh if you didn't know, I have about 36,000 vines. So yeah, it's just one of those things. Um, I'm just gonna kind of slowly work at it when I have time. And then it will be interesting to see if the berm sweeps I'm gonna get rips any off. Um, I have no idea. So hopefully I'll be in here with the berm sweep sooner than later and we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm gonna pull some off by hand. That looks pretty good. So there, I just finished that row. You can see the little white scattered. But like I said, I'll mow it. Um, hopefully I'm gonna get the sweep next so like all these vines will get pushed in and then I'll mow it, everything will get chopped up and it'll be good. I think everything is looking beautiful. Plus we just got the rain. So the vineyard is very happy right now. take these bolt these things off okay and let all this drop okay or actually it'd be these two see because they're connected to this so really this one oh yeah because those are just the well, handles yeah well, well they're, they're not just the handles they are so no you'd have to take all three of these and all and these turn the air compressor on There are some of these you might have to get. Do you want me to spray any of those? Well, I certainly did it. Oh, he did. 
And then I guess I just get a coffee can and no, put all those. Big, big just went to grab my earplugs. I use these earpiece ones. I mean, we've got those cheapy soft ones that you can just like smash in your ears, but I've actually been really happy with these. Plus they come in a nice case so they don't get nasty. So far, that's the only one we're having trouble with. My dad's going to torch it off. Okay. Next, I'm going to take the scrapers off, I think. If I ever have to hit on a bolt, you use a rubber hammer so you don't mess up the threads. It was a little stuck there, but I got it out. What do you think, Rain? Hmm? What do you think about all this? This one, right? Yeah. 
all the blades that are going to be replaced. The frame. My dad's going to cut those things off. And all the other stuff that I'm going to put on the pallet. There we go. That was weird. It lied to me. Like the biggest memory card you could buy. Get him, Rain. Give it. Give him a kiss. Get out, old man. Go on, get. She just, that is just her aroma. No, I don't like her aroma. Because <laughs> I give her a bath, and she almost instantly smells like it again. Okay, that one was easy. Yep. Oh, okay, man. watch out. You smell like sweat. Get out dog. of the way. Give it one little kiss. Go kissy. on, get. <laughs> get out of my way. Let's see. Then I heard somebody say something. I don't know who, what they said. Maybe they thought it was a Lyman truck that already had come or something. I don't Yay. like on my tools like that, but... So those ones weren't too bad. We had a hard time getting the cotter pins out. But Dad did it! Broke his snap-on tool. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, he's taking it. But snap-on replaces everything. Let's show it. That's a cool tool. Why don't you take a picture of this and send it to Jason? That's to take cotter pins out, and he broke the little handle off of it. Yeah, and it's also getting bent. Oh. You want to try this? Do you think maybe I'm not Let strong me get enough? Up. Let me get the other pipe in first. gonna torch these off. They're for added weight that I don't need. You thought they'd be full of water? Yeah, yeah this one is. I'm sure. You did it. We are done working on the disc for today. I am actually going to run into town. I found out they are handing out free dinners for children under 18. And I just decided I was gonna take some eggs. I mean, I do have customers, but I keep extra eggs for my family each week and my family doesn't mind giving them up. So I made these cute little packets of four to six eggs. And when families come, I'm just gonna give away what I can. And it's just one way I felt like I could help out the community, just a tiny little bit, you know? Aren't they cute? Omelette is the brand of the chicken coops I have and whenever I get products I like get a few of these so I was like these are perfect to give away I don't need them back Let's see if I can get them open with one hand and then of course some of them have a green egg or a blue egg I know it's not a ton but I feel like it's better than nothing and then these ones um, I also got like as free samples I never sell half dozens 
So it's another thing I don't have to worry about getting back. And these are the bantam eggs. Because I feel like bantam eggs, four equal, I mean, six bantam eggs equals four full-sized eggs. It says please return, but I don't need them back. So there we go. Give some eggs away. All right, just finished up. I was able to give away all my eggs. They gave away 20 meals today. So that was really cool. We're a pretty small town, but it's just awesome that they were able to do that. They were like full meals and milk. And um, I was able to give away, I don't know how many eggs. Unfortunately, I didn't have a ton, a ton, but I gave them all away. I'm happy and we'll see if I can do it again. If you guys are enjoying my videos, remember to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. It means so much to me. I'll see you guys later.